What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode of Skyrim, we're going to be finding all of these unique masks. The Dwarven Winter Visage, the Dwarven Spring Visage and the Dwarven Autumn Visage as well as this unique Dwarven Horse as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this! That's insane! Yo! That looks good. It's even got like sparks coming out of the gears inside of it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect these Dwarven masks into the Dwarven crown. If you guys haven't watched the first episode, by the way, I'll link it down below in the description because that's the start of this dungeon location. Right, so I guess I can direct it around with this control rod. Maybe I've got to activate this pedestal so we can open the door for Come for me, little spider. Yes, there we go. This place is pretty awesome, right? So maybe I have to lower this bridge here. Come, spider, come. I'm not going to bother unlocking all these chests, but it's going to be the only way I can navigate all this lava. What a great idea. I love this mod already. I think it's, like, really well done. Like, Pretty well considered. Okay, so I've shut that one off. Now let's get it to come back over here and do the others. The swift spider. This is kind of like, you know, one of what I wanted from Fallout 76, I guess you could say, in terms of dungeons and actually making them interesting. I mean, it's definitely possible. But this one, made by mod creators, is just so much better. Okay, right. I want to start making it walk over there, because uh, otherwise it will take its sweet, sweet time. So this is the final area. Oh, there is a fire atronach there. Right, let me whip out my bow and just quickly deal with that then. I don't want it to kill my spider. This place looks amazing, though. I mean, wow. They've even got the uh, giant symbols from Blackreach there. Summon my spider. Let's do this one first. I don't actually know, you know, which way I'm going to be going. Though. It's a bit of a maze, to be honest with you. Come on, spider annoying part is just waiting for this spider to catch up with me. It's actually quite slow. Oh god, there's, there's another spider attacking it. Oh Jesus. We're going to have to take care of these. Get back! My spider is a lot more tanky apparently. You better run away. Boom. Alright spider, let's go. He knows. He knows what I want him to do. Right, now go and set that one off then. Good boy. So, I guess we'll go right now and then we'll go left to do that one. This looks a little bit dangerous. Oh, okay, it stopped. Great. We can run past now. Whoa, what is this lighting effect? This cray cray. Here comes my little spider. Please make it through the fire, bro. Oh, God. Oh, it does do damage to him. There we go. Okay, so now we've got to go across this main bridge path, I guess. Activate the. Look at this, man. It's massive. Hop off here. It looks insanely cool, this dungeon. Like, this is obviously just the summer side of it all, but it looks really good. I'm impressed, guys. Let's take out these. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> An arrow to the knee. Love it. Come on, do another flip for me. Oh, that sound effect when you take an arrow to the side of your boot. 
Centurion's not active yet. Let's go and take him out. Aha, there we go. Now, now he's getting wrecked. Easy. Right. Nothing that amazing. Right, so this is the final one, and then we finish summer. And you've got another three seasons to go, guys. Oh my god, my spider takes so long. He's almost here, guys. Jesus Christ, mate. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Stand there. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, there we go. Flawless Ruby. You got some boss level loot there. Okay, there we go. I think there's one more, actually, we need to set off, though. Just not certain where exactly the last one is. Man, I did not want to fall down there, though. Ah, okay, there's another one down here. And there's another one over there. Oh my god, there's so many of these. I'm just going to YOLO and run past these. Let's get the spider over here. Here he comes, slowly getting damaged by these fire things, but not really taking that much damage. There is a chest over there too, but I don't really care about the chest. Right, go and finish that one off for us. Good boy, spider spider. <coughs> okay guys, the final one is just opposite us, and then we're good to go. There you go, now finish off that last connection point, and I think we're done. Aha! There we go. Good repair spider. So we've fixed summer. Now we need to run all the way back. Look at this view, guys. Jesus. Wow. And we need to go to the main chamber and fix the other weathers. With summer done, our next one, next door to enter. Let's just go over to that one over there. Oh, actually, what's down here? Let's go down here. Ah, this must be autumn or sp no, this must be spring. This must be like the biggest area of ingredients ever. There's even a chest here hidden away. The Elven Shield. Nice. Don't need it though. So this is awesome. Okay, and we've already read the autumn passage, so I'm not going to reread it. This is cool. Look at this. Let me get my uh, ebony bow out. Just like an overgrown Dwemer ruin. Love it. But apparently there's going to be some Dwemer centurions here. From what I read in the journal. Which I'm not really loving. At all. Whoa, this is crazy. Gather different types of wheat. Okay. Let's take care of... What is that? Oh, it's a centurion dynamo core. Dwarven Sphere. Get Rex up. Ha <laughs> Destroy. Yeah, I can see the Centurion roaming around here. Harvester Centurion. He's got like two axes for his hands. Harvest Wild Spiky Grass. But there's even a bird in here. This is crazy. It's so, like, unique and interesting. 100% like one of the most unique quests I've done in Skyrim. Really good job. Obviously, there's not as much content here as you're going to get if you, like, buy the Shivering Isles or something, but considering it's just, like, Creation Club dungeon mod, it's the first dungeon mod on Creation Club, and it's actually, like, really good. So, I'm glad. You've done it justice, guys. This is kind of what I always wanted from Creation Club, like just good content. And I think they've like upped their game a little bit, but obviously you can still get a lot of dungeon mods for stuff for free. But the nice thing is, is that console players can still play this and it's polished and finished. That's not to say that the free ones aren't polished and finished, so, you know. Oh, I can hear something. <coughs> My god, this is like creepy underground garden. 
mushrooms here and everything. Is that a depository then? I don't really know where I'm taking these ingredients. Ah, oh, horse's left front leg. Let's grab that right now. Value of 1,500. Started the dwarven horse. Recover. I've firstly got one leg though right now. It's kind of like a side mission to find the dwarven mount. That's cool. <coughs> right, let's go round. Oh, hello. I can see you, Mr. Dwarven Saphir. Luckily, you can't see me. see something else down there too. What is that? A rabbit? Oh my god, there's a rabbit down here. Get wrecked! Headshot. <laughs> Man, now there are no rabbits. What is this? It's like a sign that says wheat. So alien, isn't it? I see you. So I'm literally just running around, taking out this wheat guys and there's a lot of it what is this sickle green wheat ooh, ooh, what's that oh my god that's a dwarven centurion I just rolled into holy crap get back oh No, do not use your breath on me. Okay, he's almost down again. Get Rex up. Why do you have any arrows? I've only got like five iron arrows left. There you are, you sneaky spider. Where are you off to? Oh, he's just working, that's fine. He's actually an enemy. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's going to attack me. Get back. Get Rex up. So leaks out his oil around him. Okay. So I guess this is where we deposit the ingredients, maybe? Oh. I just spawned a few Saphir Guardians. But there's an Autumn Visage here. The Mask of Autumn. Okay. I mean, look at that in a second. Sneaky, sneaky. I have snuck past them because I'm the Master of Sneak. Right, so from the mushrooms on the other side, guys, I've actually found another part of the Dwemer horse located under here. I might even do a separate video about where to find all the parts, just so we don't have to focus on it in this quest. Also, a Centurion Dynamo Core here as well, which is nice. Very nice. I think we're almost done harvesting all these unique ingredients. Almost. I don't think we've harvested this one, the yellow one. The encrusted, orange encrusted wheat. And again, guys, from these mushrooms here, you'll find the next piece of the horse just over here next to these hay barrels. Probably where they used to feed it, I guess. There's even a dead bandit up here as well. My mercenary. But he is no more. Okay, so once we've found all the wheat, we can deposit them in the depositories which were here by the door. So the wheat depository. 29 wheats removed. Another wheat one. Another one. You have to harvest all the different types of wheat, but I've already done that. So that should be everything, really. And now the door is open. I didn't actually notice it open, but hey, there we go. What is this? Activate control conduit. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. Ah. 
And there's a dwarven chest here. Whoa! Flawed Valra stone. Look at how awesome that is. It's basically like a soul gem that can store any soul, I believe. But, man, I just want to keep that for myself and put it in my house because it looks insane. Staff of Slaying. Kills living target in melee range with 25% or less remaining health. Yeah, that's alright. Horse head. Ah, this is the horse head. Okay, there we go. And 105 gold. Very nice. The only thing we haven't found is the right leg of the Dwarven Horse. Let me show you guys where that is right now before we continue. And also, guys, just so you know, the um, Autumn Mask we found earlier gives you plus 25 points of Magicka, Restoration spells cost 10% less to cast, cast, and Illusion spells cost 10% less to cast as well. So it's actually pretty decent for a mask, but uh, if I actually... <laughs> um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it looks a bit crap. But I'll let you guys make up your mind about what you think. I guess it's meant to be in the Dwemer culture, like, sort of style, but no thank you. It does not appeal to me in the slightest. And finally, we have the final part of the horse armor, which is literally, if I'll show you on the map, it's actually on your way out of this area. And I spent ages looking for this. But here's the note on Autumn, which we actually missed when we came in here as well. The mage says we have to harvest the wheat and, and stuff it into the decompositories. Only I don't know which wheat goes in which container. Seems like the symbol on the sign and the depositories might be a clue, but they all look the same and it's making my head hurt. Shaw's bones, this isn't what I signed up for. If I want to work on a farm, I'd go back to Rorikstead. The treasure better be worth it. But here we have the leg, the final piece. So return all pieces to the Dwarven Horse Frame. We've got to go outside the dungeon to actually do that. So I'm not going to do it right now. Let's head back into the main central chamber here. And we can now go through one of these other two doors. I'm going to choose this one. My god, the lightning is going crazy. Wow, that sound effect. This is summer then, I guess. Oh, it's spring. Spring with all the flowers. It makes sense. So, what we need to do now, guys, is we need to read the journal on spring. Spring greeted me with a splash of colour as beautiful flowers were scattered across the halls of metal and stone. There were even animals sauntering about, feeding off the vegetation warmed by artificial light. Unfortunately, our journey through, though, has been horrific. Soon delayed by a moist, peculiar obstruction, thick, gnarled roots blocked the passageways, halting our progress. Perhaps the Dwemer had found nature to be cumbersome and saw spring as nothing more than a season of suffering. While the mercenaries labelled to cut through the bark, my strong perception allowed me to notice strange spriggins shambling through the artificial forest. As I brushed aside, the roots quivered as if the tendrils were an extension of the forest creature. Were these spriggans the tenders of the gardens or just consequence of its existence? Regardless, if we could somehow sever the connection between the spriggans and the roots, we might find a way deeper into the ruins. Okay, so we need to kill the spriggans, I guess. I'm actually going to look for the mercenary this time because I know he's going to be near the entrance with a note. Aha! This one's a little bit harder to miss. Kill the Spriggans and control the obscuring roots. Trying to make it inside, thick roots are barring the way. The boss says that the branches are connected to the Spriggans, so stabbing one might make them flinch. But it's kind of hard to stab what you can't see. Yeah, I agree with that. And there's a note on the Dwarven drone fly. okay. With spring comes pollen and mold and spectre of disease. The Dwemer knew this as well and they took steps to counter it. If you spot a Dwemer drone fly buzzing about, good. You're already leagues ahead of the average mercenary being both literate and attentive. Simply toss one in the air and these miniature metal insects will aerate the space around you, granting you resistance to poison and improving your stamina. As added bonus, they'll also alleviate you of any excuse should you feel the need to turn your back. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, oh, there's a bloody spriggan. Oh god. A blooming spriggan. Where is it? There it is. Get Rexa. 
Ah, and the branch has indeed moved out of the way. We cannot go this way. They have sprig and sap. And it looks like that is the mechanism I need to activate. So we're going to have to run through the dungeon this way. Killing the Spriggan as we go. You can actually see some rabbits down there below us. This dungeon is so unique. So cool. I love it. It looks like the Spriggan have actually overtaken this area though. And there's no Dwemer left. It's quite... Ah. It looks like a button. It's not. Aha. Hello Mrs. Spriggan. Correct. Oh, there's a bear. I heard a bear. Get Rex, Spriggan. Headshot. More Spriggan sap. And there's the bear. Get Rex, Dover Bear. Oh, oh, hello. This whiteout effect is super annoying. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there straight away. Get Rex. Can't see anything right now. Am I even fighting anything? No, it's dead. Great. Purple mountain flower added. Oh, okay, that's the poison down there. Gonna want to avoid that then. Let's set up these roots here. We'll see if there's actually... What is that? Some kind of air purification system. I am not sure. Let's head up to the top here. an old centurion was oh a rabbit kill it oh i missed damn it there's a dwarven dagger a bowl and some gems here and a dwarven helmet as well anything else remotely useful not really right let's head through into the next area then. Hello, Mr. Doggy. I'm going to fire this arrow directly up your rear to get wrecked. That was a cry of pain there if I've ever heard one. Another woof. Headshot. More roots in this room. More wildlife. Another doge. Let's just carry on upwards. Aha, ah, another Spriggan. Get wrecked. So far, I've not come across one of these uh, purifying Dwemer insects yet. There is a dead Centurion there. I mean, the Spriggan did quite well there, didn't they? <laughs> There's literally just rabbits roaming the hall of the Dwemer corridor. Which I actually really like. It's really strange. It makes sense in this situation. Now I can see the poison below me again. Probably another sprigger around here. Nope, nothing. Okay, it's a final door. It's what seems like another area. <coughs> another sprigger. Get wrecked, son. Boom. Oh, hello. Boom. Another one. There's so many. Can I access this door? Okay, yeah, we can go through the center. It's just overgrown. Nothing interesting here, though, apart from this chest. Which I don't need to loot. And there is a boss chest here. Ah, here we have it. The Dwarven Drone Fly. Look at that. That looks insanely cool, man. I'm going to sell it for 300 gold. <laughs> oh, glass boots. Nice. Stamina regenerates 30% faster for 60 seconds. Resist 50% poison damage for 60 seconds. It looks really cool. Sadly, it's a consumable, though. I don't know how one's meant to consume such metal objects, but hey. Let's hop down here and we can activate the final conduit. Right, so before we leave, if we actually go back through the dungeon, there's actually one door I don't think we unlocked yet. 
Here we are. Requires a key. So one of the enemies we killed must have had a key on. Not you. Potentially one of the Spriggans. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the crap out of me. I have received an arrow up your wrecked arm. Get wrecked, sir. Ah, here we go. Vardkin Spring Key. Ah, right. So this is going to open that door. It's in this pond area, by the way, guys. That we walked past earlier. So I'm just going to run around the dungeon again. Right, here's the door. Now we have the key for it. So I want to see. Yep. Spooky. Oh, that's very mysterious. What's down here? Any more Spriggan? Very poisonous area by the looks of it. Even the Dwemer, Sophia, couldn't survive it. Very creepy. The rabbits seem absolutely fine here somehow, though. Okay, there's a chest, boss chest. Orca shield. Don't know why I picked up the metal scrap there. Races of Alchemy, super good enchantment, as you guys know if you've watched my unlimited alchemy video. Oh, okay, we can go to the right here. Ah, oh, there's actually a quest marker. Dwarven Spring Visage. That looks sick. Look at the armor work on that. Use a forge to slot a mask into the Dwarven Crown. Ah, okay, so we can actually build a crown using these masks. Let's have a look at these. This looks sick. I love that. It's my favorite one. Increases your health by 25 points. Increases light armor skill by 5 points. Increases heavy armor skill by 5 points. They're all a bit meh though, aren't they really? They're not like amazing or anything. Seems there's another dead mercenary just here as well. Okay, so this is clearly the winter one. Look at that. Very frosty, very northern. Wow, I can't believe we've changed so many seasons so quickly. It feels strange. So before we progress any further, let's read the journal entry. Maybe we get some idea about what we need to do here. Winter. Winter was not to my surprise. Home to a great indoor blizzard and what the mercenaries thought of as an artificial stone mountain. Yet they were not mountains, but great towering silos of frozen water and the cold. Not even the highest mountain compared to such chills. And we were soon trading furs amongst ourselves to keep warm. It became clear that the progress through this area, I would need to drive through the unfrozen waters that surrounded the towers, snaking up and around the structure like ice wraiths that call this place home as clever a solution as any thought up by me, but not one I could risk at the moment. Perhaps when we return to this ruin, I can find something less important to brave it. Oh, someone less important to brave it. And that's the end of the journal. So this is the final season, guys. Here we are. And I guess there's gonna be a note here about elixir of water breathing. Oh God, I'm gonna have to get my Khajiit fur wet. Two steps into water and I can't feel my toes. Now the mage says we're going to have to jump 50 feet into water, so cold it will crack your bones. This is all Bjorn's fault. I wanted to try the summer room, but I, I drew the sodding short straw. Haha, <laughs> no one wanted to try the winter room. It looks like all these mercenaries have died of hypothermia then. It's actually kind of amazing how obviously the Dwemer are not affected by the cold in the same way. How intriguing. It literally has a blizzard blowing over it. Oh, damn it. Let's run back up then. Dun, 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 Almost at the top. It's quite a long corridor, this actually. Not a spiral staircase, not corridor. I promise you, I got a degree in architecture. Right, we're at the top now, and I am kind of dreading what we're going to find. Probably some frost atronox. So this is the first pool of frozen water. 
we're going to avoid. Wow, okay. Looks like there's no way coming back from the way we came. Can't see anything down there either. <laughs> this water would actually be absolutely freezing. Oh, I missed it, damn it. Get Rex up. Boom. How shocking to receive an arrow to the face. Is that a door up there? Can I get up? Yes, I can. Another secret ice cabin by the looks of it. Looks like there's a button over there. there must be something in the, hidden in this room. Ah. And if we swim up. <laughs> Okay. It's almost like a little secret entrance to a shrine here. That was well hidden, man. Oh, and there's a dead centurion. Why is it dead? Can I get inside here or not? Oh, there's a lever. Very good. Aha! The Dwarven Winter Vassar. Look at that. So we found one of the masks. Uh, what does it do, though? Increases your stamina by 25 points. One-handed attacks do 10% more damage. Two-handed attacks do 10% more damage. That's pretty goddamn good for a warrior. And it's heavy armor. Okay. It looks okay. I mean, it's definitely like the Dwemer style. But, I don't know. I hate, like, the little top hat and the stupid cloak. The face mask itself looks okay, but, I don't know. I'm not a fan of, like, the aesthetic there. But I guess, like, I'm not that familiar with the Dwemer people, but maybe that would be more what they would look like. I don't know. I'm not a fan. Of its aesthetic, at least. I can't see any more <laughs> treasure around here. It's pretty secretly hidden, though, isn't it? Hang on, let's carry on down here. It looks like a window of some sort. Aha! Another cavern I have to drop down into. Another way I cannot get out. Oh, one sec, did I go around in a circle? I believe I did. I believe I did, guys. So now we're back at the top here. Oh, no, actually, is it different? It is different. Man, this place looks very similar. But now we have to go underwater because the cabin goes deeper. Now, I'm not going to drink the potion until I start dying and actually need to breathe underwater. I hate ice rays, the most annoying thing in the game. You just can't see them properly. Unless you're a melee character, like, it's just annoying for an archer. There we go. Cold water. My Khajiit fur is very wet. I'm not a fan, guys. Another spiral staircase going up. This place is like a bloody maze. <coughs> trying to walk up here. Or run up here at least. I can hear a frost astronaut. I've been playing this game too long. Okay, here we go at the top. Oh, I think I just saw one out of the corner of my eye, but let's go this way. I guess. 
Another boss chest just here though. Let's have a little check in here. See if there's anything useful. 200 gold, nice. Lightning rune tome. Glass bow, very good. I was just grab that right now. You look down there, it kind of looks like there could be something interesting because it's very deep, but to be honest with you, I can't actually see anything down there right now. By the time I swim down, I'd lose my breath, I think. So let's just grab this gem. I'd say winter was actually the easiest room yet. Summer took the longest. It took a while to do awesome. They're all very easy. Whoa. Some more mercenaries. And is that a maid? Something is going on here, guys. It's time to go into the assassin mode and whip out our Daedric daggers and deal with these people. Why is everyone, like, naked, though? I mean, are you guys not cold? Oh, boy. That was close. That was very close. That guy's going to Ah! Treasure is mine. Apprentice. Eben's apprentice got wrecked. And this is the mercenary wizard. <laughs> Nothing you can do, my friend. Let's have a look at Eben's apprentice though. Oh yeah, there's no information on him. It's just interesting that he showed up and found his dead master and obviously couldn't do anything about it. <coughs> so now maybe we can re-enter this area. Ah, yes! We've turned on and reactivated everything. Hell yeah, this is going to be epic. The Sky Cooler Gallery. Oh, this is cool. Let's see if we can one-hit kill this. Oh my god, it's actually like a proper boss fight. That's sick. It's going to be very hard to sneak attack, though. He's actually got a frost cloak on him as well. And he's all using the sun storm effect. I think I could probably get around him. Yeah, okay. This is possible. Oh, he missed it. I missed it. Yeah, he's just going to wreck me now, so... <laughs> Let's go for the archery tactic. I wonder if the spider control rod will work on him. That was a sneak attack. Oh boy. Oh god, please. This is going to be an intense fight. Oh, I'm so slow from all the cross spells that he's casting right now. And he's summoning Spriggans. Oh my Jesus. This is going to be super annoying. Enraged Spriggan, please get out. These hurt so much. Stop it. Let me get a potion of health here. Resist cold. Magic's also going to be helpful. There we go, we're good. Oh, I missed my poison arrow. Damn it. Get rid of this Spriggan. Please stop using your witchcraft. God damn it, it hurts so much. Your light armor skill is increased. Get away from me, you stupid machine. Okay, okay, one down, one down. The 
Sky Orchestrator is pissed, guys. He's triggered! He's triggered! Oh my days. I don't like it. It's like a creepy spider. Oh man! Okay, I'm gonna be getting some resist fire right now. I've already got 40% resist fire. Okay, great. Let's swap over to our dwarven arrow, my ebony arrows so they do 20 damage. Take a potion of resist fire. And true shot. And a potion of vigorous healing. There we go. Oh, those fireballs are hurting me. He almost doesn't need to hit me because he just... The area of effect damage is colossal. See what I mean? <laughs> okay, he swapped a shock now. Let's quickly put on some shock resistance. Do I have a potion of resist shock? I have aversion to... Oh, aversion to shock. Yep, 40%. We've got like 40-70% shock resistance right now. Get out of here. Oh god, that's almost killed me. Give me a po healing potion. Right, there we go. Oh, it's dead. I killed it. Oh, yeah. I think the thunder killed it. Draft of light feet. 15% harder to detect. 50 gold. And ward of the seasons. Increased fire resistance by 10%. Frost resistance by 10%. And shock resistance by 10%. And also poison resistance by 10%. I don't need it. But, you know, pretty cool armor piece. Pretty, uh, you know, well-themed armor piece. What a sick boss fight. That was literally, like, best boss fight. And right behind us, turn of the seasons. This must be the spell book used to control the weather. Oh, okay, yeah. Snowing. New spell learned. Turn of the season. So the spell doesn't actually allow you to change the weather, but it does give you this buff called the turn of the seasons. Barter prices are 10% better when it's raining. With a full set of light armor equipped, stamina regenerates 5% faster in clear or clement weather. And you also get a 10% chance of critical hit that does 10% more damage, 10% more critical damage with bows when it's overcast. So right now it's overcast, so I get more bow damage. Um, and when with a full set of heavy armor equipped, armor rating increased by 10% when snowing, which is nice. I guess it's just like a lore friendly buff. The most easy one to activate will be the full set of light armor equipped and stamina regenerates 5% faster because you can use the clear sky shout. I don't know if the storm, cool storm shout would work for raining when you're in the shops to make 10% better prices, but you can test that out yourself. Right, let's carry on. Okay, so this takes us back to the start of the dungeon. So now we can go outside and we can fix our horse and we can also return to the forge and construct our crowns that we picked up using the dwarven crown in combination with one of these masks. Oh, hello, Lydia. You've been waiting out here for me, have you? Okay, right, let's fix the horse. Activate broken dwarven horse. Oh, completed. My Thane, I'm proud of what we've managed to do. I can hear a horse. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this. That's insane. Yo, that looks good. It's even got, like, sparks coming out of the gears inside of it. Look at that. <laughs> I like its tail. Oh my god, it even moves. Wow. Yeah, that's really nice, man. Yo, check that out, boy. How fast is this thing? There's a mod you can download for faster horses, but the steam comes out the side as you ride, which is pretty sick. Look at that. I look like a fucking boss. I've even got my Dwemer crown on there. We need to go back to the forge now and fix the other crowns up. But, oh, I love that. That's it. That's going to go really well with my 
Dwemer Centurion build. I'll link that in the description if you guys haven't seen it yet, but that's really good. Look at that. Earlier is jealous. Right, guys, let's travel over. Where else? To White Run. So we can actually use the forge and fix this ancient Dwemer artifact, which apparently I have the skill to do. Okay, so here we are at the White Run Forge. It might be a miscellaneous or in Dwarven, I don't know. Oh, look at that! Okay, okay, I see, I see. So basically, what it does is when you choose to put the mask in the crown, it will actually give you a buff, like make the mask more powerful. So you basically select what mask you want to have in the crown. Oh, honestly, the crown of winter looks the best because it's got these kind of like spikes coming out the side of it. The crown of spring looks worse because you can't see the beard. Um, and yeah, the crown of autumn actually looks okay. So you've got increases magicka by 50 points, restoration spells cost 15% less to cast, illusion spells cost 15% less to cast, magicka regenerates 10% faster. Then we have the Dwarven Crown of Spring. Increases your health by 50 points, increases light armor skill by 10 points, increases heavy armor skill by 10 points, and health regenerates 10% faster. That's okay, but to be honest with you, those buffs aren't really that good, apart from the health regenerates 10% faster one. And then we have the Crown of Winter. Increases your stamina by 40 points, which is always really useful if you're sprinting, running, and power attacking and defending yourself. One-handed attacks do 15% more damage, and two-handed attacks do 15% more damage. Stamina also regenerates 10% faster, which, as I said, really good. And it makes us do more damage, so 100%, this is what we're crafting. Let me just grab some leather strips from my bay. Good to see you, dear. Oh, good to see you too, dear. What do you have for Take sale? A look. Give me those leather strips so I can... Here we go, leather strips. I only need two. I'll buy four because I'm a nice Khajiit. Please, call upon me if I can be of any service. You're so needy. Right, here we go. Dwarven, the winter crown guy. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be very good for this character. But we've completed the Dwarven crown go. quest. And now let's whip on this silly looking mask. Oh, now we still have the, the mask, but as you can see, it's only half as powerful, even a fraction of the power that the crowned mask has. Of course, we can deconstruct it, I guess, and change it over, but look at that. That looks insane. It's so powerful. It looks a bit silly, though. I think in full Dw Dwemer armor, which my melee build has, this crown would actually be perfect for it. So I'll link that build in the description if you guys want to follow that and come up with, like, the ultimate character build for it. But to be honest, it looks a bit silly otherwise, doesn't it? <laughs> I think in total, like, this is the exact kind of thing I want from Creation Club. And yeah, I guess the price tag is, you know, on the pricey side. But at the same time, you're getting a very high quality dungeon, lots of unique artifacts from it. There's actually a unique weapon down here I'll show you guys just at the exit to the dungeon. The troll. Exec oh. Execution of troll. Right, look. Down here, you'll find a unique warhammer, which I may have already picked up on this character. There is a unique warhammer that should spawn around this area called Troll's Bane, but I think I've already picked it up when I was making a guide on this character. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a like. You can also subscribe to my Patreon if you want some additional benefits, which you can check out linked in the description. Man, I love Skyrim. Look at that view. You can actually see the uh, the red towers over there. Massive Forsworn story is connected to those. I've done a video on that already. I've done so many videos on Skyrim. It's actually nice to have some fresh content for you guys, you know, that no one's seen before. So I did really enjoy that. I want to do some quest mods and stuff. Some more quest mods, in fact, at some point. A whole mod list for Skyrim is finished now, by the way. We've updated it again with new mods and a new ENB, e which I'm not using at the moment, but it looks even better than this one with just some crazy enhancements. So check that out. Um, there's a whole tutorial on how to install it if you're new. But, um, you know, if you support me on Patreon, you support, like, our website and all the costs of running everything, and it's totally appreciated. So if you want to go the extra mile to support me, I would madly appreciate that. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day and goodbye.